Let me tell you a little story about a pig called Progress. Yay! Actually, started out quite small. He was a shy little runt with lots of go and lots of grunt and quite a country appetite for more. Yeah, he was full of promise, and so we called him Progress, and the piglet really took his name to heart. Well, we'd feed him what he wanted, and around the sty he'd saunter, ordering all his food a la carte. Oh, he shot up through the sizes, and he picked up all the prizes for the biggest and the best in his class. And as his girth grew wide, so to his porcine pride, oh, he really was becoming quite an ass. But the pig was a trendsetter, convinced me, pig is always better, and there could be no limits to his growth. So endlessly I fed the beast, my future famine for his feast. It was progress or your life, you can't have both. Well, he ate me out of house and home, he ate me whole effing farm, and the place was covered with his shit. He drank the dams and rivers dry, and his filthy fart and filled the sky while I stood by just soaking in his piss. Then he ate his sis sufficiency, he ate his ma modesty, his bro beneficence, and his father finitude. Then he turned and ate the workers, and that bacon eyed berserker was even iron off me children too. Well, finally I had enough. I threatened some correction, or I'd take him to the market. Yeah, and I'd bring me home the bacon. Well, such porky pies, he called me bluff. I'd never fit him in that truck, so he'd stay right here and keep on eating. So I called around me mates, and we manned the barricade. Yeah, we'd trap him in that pen, then take him down. Well, he grunted and he snorted, it was we had faced the slaughter. Then he charged and ran us all to ground. But it was in me French mate Monty, progress finally met his match. He said, forget about the guillotine, the musket or the axe. You see that pig is about to burst. No, he wouldn't be the first. The only thing he needs is one more wafer. So he popped down to the church and he fetched the Eucharist, the body for the pig and blood for courage. Then back down at the sty, he looked progress in the eye and said, Monsieur Pig, we surrender. So please accept this little bread, this token of our awe and dread of you progress, relentless force of nature. Well, the pig thought this plausible surrender from a son of Gaul, though couldn't swallow transubstantiation. Anyway, the pig snaffled up the host, and we all drank a quick toast, then ran like hell and died for cover. For finally progress reached his limits, for no growth is infinite, and he exploded in a mess of bone and blubber. And when we finally emerged, his flesh covered the earth, and the rivers ran black with his blood. Well, the cleanup took us years of sweat, struggle, toil, and tears. Yes, this lesson taught to every lass and lad. If you ever get a peak, don't let it get too big, for nothing can ever grow forever. And whatever you do, or you'll end up in the poo. Don't call the bloody thing progress. Thanks, folks.